We have an update for you on the story from earlier about every time I die announcing the band would be breaking up. The group released a statement signed by four out of five members. Missing was the group's vocalist, Keith Buckley, who the band has been at odds with for the last several weeks at least. This all started in early December when vocalist Keith Buckley announced he was stepping away from the band's ongoing tour to focus on his mental health and newfound sobriety. He said in part that the band was trying to ostracize him in his opinion and replace him as the vocalist of the band. He said he overheard that in discussion and the group has refuted those claims. They have said that that was not true and they've denied it. The band is now saying earlier in that statement they have tried to communicate with him to no avail and they just want to talk with him directly. Now the plot has thickened with Keith Buckley simply posting the following cease and desist letter from his bandmates attorneys that they have recently retained. It would appear that the band is trying to prevent him from making any public statements further about the group. Here's what the statement said in part. Please contact me or have your legal representative contact me by email no later than December 27 to arrange a time to discuss the business terms of an amicable separation between the parties. This is a confidential settlement communication. We hereby order you to immediately cease and desist from making any statements, whether written or oral or directly or indirectly, including on social media, that defame, disparage, or in any way criticize the professional name, prestige, image, reputation, practices, or conduct of the band or the represented members. In addition, immediately cease and desist all usage of the band name, logo, or other intellectual property until there is a formal signed separation agreement between the parties which authorizes you to do so. Any usage of the band name, logo, or intellectual property, including but not limited to performing under the band name or using the band name in connection with the promotion of any live performance or event is an infringement on the represented member's rights. While we hope to resolve this situation amicably, we have been instructed to pursue formal legal action against any infringement of our client's rights or defamatory statements regarding our clients to the fullest extent available under the law. This letter is not intended to constitute nor shall it be deemed to constitute an exhaustive statement of all facts, rights, or claims relating to this matter, nor is it intended nor should it be construed as a waiver, release, or relinquishment of any right or remedies available to our client whether legal or equitable, all of which are hereby expressly reserved. We look forward to your anticipated cooperation and timely response. So while the band says they want to work things out amicably, they are also essentially trying to prevent him from speaking about the band or performing as the vocalist of the band, which is exactly what this document would preclude him from doing. Very sad to see a band that has been together so long and including two brothers feuding like this really rooting for these guys to work things out privately. It's never too late to bring the band back together and resolve this situation. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.